Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Solar Flared Camera. I know the lights right. I can't. I can't find a good spot to put this camera right now. Uh, I haven't moved any of my lights either. All my lights are in the same spots they always have been. But no matter where I put any of my cameras right now, the, uh, either of my cell phones, my my tablet, uh, my webcam, or any of the camcorders, no matter where I put them, it just doesn't. It isn't working right. Um, Let's just pull this a little this way because that's not the color my shirt is. There we go, there we go. Anyway, today we are looking at a beer. It's still not good, but whatever. Today we are looking at a beer that was sent to me by the one and only Steve. So thank you very much, Steve. This was part of my beer mail that was sent to me from BC. This is from the Black Kettle Brewing Company. Wheat Ale. I love these labels. Like, look at it. Right? Like, it's it's just sitting there on the shelf. You're walking up. Full black label. Light. Like, lighter gray text. It just says black. And then, boom! Just the style and nothing else. That's actually simple and elegant at the same time. And eye-catching, even for something as simple as this. This is 4.8% alcohol. It says made with pale and wheat malts. Orange and coriander. This is brewed in Vancouver, blackkettlebrewing.com. Just give it a little Weiss roll, just a little Weiss roll, just in case. I actually should go out and get one of my Weiss glasses, but you know what? I'll be completely honest with you guys. I'm not going to. I'm going to drink out of the glass I've picked. Now, I didn't think this through completely, because there's no bottle opener within... Uh, access to it. Okay. the barnstormer bottle I don't even know where all my bottle openers are I usually have like 40 different bottle openers going Alrighty, look at that, <laughs> look at that, that almost has like mango juice look to it, it actually almost looks like mango juice, uh, kind of like an apple cider but with uh, with maybe peach juice squeezed into it, because it has that orangey hue to it, but it's so murky and so beautiful, like look at that, you cannot see shit through it, I always talk about how I love my beers unfiltered. That might be a little too unfiltered, to be honest with you. Maybe just a little. Smell. Hmm. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of the smell on this. Not a huge fan on the smell on this. Um, getting a tiny touch of citrus. Getting that normal banana scent that you would get from, uh, from the yeast esters. And a lot of dry wheat, like just, I'm walking through a fucking, uh, I'm walking through an entire enclosure of wheat ix or something, you know, like, just wheat, just fucking wheat everywhere. I'm in a wheat field with a little bit of orange and a little bit of banana, that's what I'm smelling. Let's try it. Cheers. Hold the butt plug part. Pinky out. Okay. Okay. This may have... Mm. I don't know. No, that's citrus. Okay. I was going to say this may have turned a little bit, because it had that, just that slight tang of sour to it. But yeah, it's... Uh, on the second sip, that slight tang of sour just tasted pure orange. Very dry. The neutral graininess of the wheat malts. 
huge on this. You're not getting that sweet maltiness that you get from a normal barley malt beer. You're getting this dry uh, cereal grain con mouthiness. You know, you drink a you drink a really heavy wheat beer and you kind of get that con mouth feel. I'm getting that from this. A um, little sweet and a little sour orange tinge to it. A little bit of coriander. You get that like peppery dryness as well on the back end. <coughs> Excuse me. You know what? I'm not a big fan of this. I'm not a big fan of this, but I don't dislike it. Like, don't get me like I'm saying, oh my god, I hate this beer. No, I actually think it's a really well-made wheat beer. I'm just not a fan of it. Um, not really much spices or anything else coming off of it. That's okay. This reminds me more of like an American wheat kind of... Uh, I, I, I smelt banana. I'm not really tasting banana, so I'm, I'm pretty sure they're using an American wheat recipe where they're, you know, American... American uh, yeast strains and all that. Uh, I am a big, I'm not a big Hef fan. And people people are like, but you like white beer. Yeah, I like Belgian wheats. I like the slightly sweeter, slightly beefier wheats. And this has a lot of that, but at the same time, this has a lot of like the, uh, the American slash Hef where it's kind of a dulled taste as well. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm indifferent on it. I should say I'm indifferent on this beer. I could drink it, I could drink it, I could buy it, I can recommend it, because there's nothing really wrong with it, I'm just indifferent on it, it doesn't really, it doesn't do anything for me, it doesn't wow me, it doesn't make me want to drink it, that type of thing. It's just a wheat beer, basically what it is, it's just a, a light bodied almost, like a light to medium mouth field wheat beer. It is very unfiltered. It looks beautiful. Its bottle is damn well eye-catching. I really, really enjoy the artwork. Whoever their marketing guy is, genius, because it's so simple yet so eye-catching at the same time. But the beer itself, the beer that came out of the bottle, I could drink it. That's that's about the best, I, best and worst I can say for it. I can't say anything bad. I can't say anything good. I'm indifferent. Uh, out of 10, 6.5, 6.75, 6 eh, 6.75 sounds about right. Um, not a bad beer, not a bad beer at all. Thank you, Steve, for sending it. I'm glad I got to try it. I'll sip on the rest of this while I reorganize the movie shelf. And yeah, thank you guys. Bye.